Hi there, I'm Sarah Henson. I am an email strategist and copywriter, and I'm a self-confessed tech geek. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a welcome sequence in ConvertKit. I previously did a video where I showed you how I wrote my email sequence. So I'll link that um, down in the description and on the blog as well. Um, and this is like the second phase of it, of actually putting it into ConvertKit so it gets delivered to my subscribers as, after they sign up. So. I've navigated to my automations in ConvertKit. And what I want to do first is actually set up the sequence. So I'm going into sequences and I've actually created the sequence um, foundation piece here. But what you do is just new sequence and you name it what you want and you press create sequence. So let me just go back. So this is the one I've created. This is AW meaning autumn, winter 2020. So I can keep track of what sequences I had. My previous ones, I archive them um, so that they don't go out. So first of all, this is my Google Doc with my emails in it. So this is what I need to hand as I build my sequence. And if you um, have seen that other video where I go through how I write my email sequence, you see I've got three emails as part of my welcome sequence. So all I've done is added three emails here. So let's do the first one. All we have to do is get in that subject line in. Now for the, the pre header here, that's what shows up after the subject line when you um, view it in your inbox. So there isn't actually a place in ConvertKit to do that. So you have to use a bit of code. So I'll show you how to do that in a second. Here's what is the content of my email, which I'm just going to copy and paste in there. And if you see, this is the, the code that I need here. So what I need to do is copy that bit there where my X's are and copy all of that code from the start of that triangular parentheses to the end of the div there. And what we do is go to the HTML code here and just pop it in the top. And so when I go back here, you don't see that there is a little bit of a space there where the code is in the back end here. Okay. So what I do need to do is link out uh, in my thing. I've got click here to download. So I'm going to go and get the code for that for the link. It's in my Google Drive. I'm just going to right click, get my link, copy and link, make sure anyone with the link can view and go to convert kit. Click here to download your copy. Link that in there and open in a new tab. Insert that link. And I think that's all the links for my first email. So now we just have to decide when that wants to go out. So I'm going to say an hour after they've had their um, original opt in download that delivers to them. And I'm going to put that to active. Second email. I'm going to just do exactly the same thing. So we need to get that pre header code in there. Ready? I'll just pop that in the third one as well, just to. Okay, so the sweep you need for your emails needs to go in there. Okay, how to write a damn good email. Let's pop that in the subject line and then the main body of the document is here and I want to get that code for the pre-header copy and paste go to the HTML Okay, let's see where I had any links. You can get the download. This is my email checklist. It's the second down, um, opt-in download that I have. So I'm going to give that away in my second email. And I need to get that 
link as well. So off my email checklist, it's the PDF, get the link, copy the link again, anyone with the link can view. So that's in sharing right. You can download the checklist here, press the link, add it in there. As you can see, this is like the process that we go through. And in the PS here, you'll see find out more here is a link to my copy intensive, which is one of my services. It's actually the only service that I have at the moment available. So let's copy and paste that in. Um, find out more here. I'll link that in. So you can see the process here. So we just go into that. I want that one day later. And look, these are all the days that it gets sent out on. So if you want to prevent, if you don't want to send any emails on a, on a weekend, you can highlight that. So even if um, they have, so if someone opts in on Monday, and you have three emails that go out every day, it'll go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. However, if you don't want emails to go on a, on a Saturday and they opt in on a Friday, you will get the first one on a Friday, the second one on a Monday and second one on a Tuesday. So this is really great if you want to prevent any emails going out at a certain time, especially if perhaps you send a, a newsletter out on that time and you have people going through your newsletter, broadcast emails, as well as your welcome sequence. Okay, so we'll keep that active. And then the final one here, feast your eyes on these with a little emoji. Next one, this is where I need to put my pre-header in again. Uh, we'll do that after I put the body copy in. And get that. Preview, pre-header copy, code, pop that in, pop there. Okay, you see for some of these, I've actually put the link in, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that out. I'm going to use that. Open in a new link. Uh, this one, cut that out. Find out more here. Link that. And that final one is also the same, same one there. So I'm going to link that. And it says this third piece of content that I'm linking out to. So these are three pieces of content. I'm going to just put them in a bullet list. And this PS is just uh, referring to this one. So that's the, the best piece of copywriting advice I've ever had or ever received. I'm going to put that one in there as well. That's a secondary link. And again, one day after and I'm going to make it active. Okay, so now that's all saved in there. Um, and that's ready to go because it's all active and ready. The second part of this process is to make sure the trigger happen so that this actually gets sent. Now I've got a ton of landing page forms, landing pages and forms I have. Let's go back to automations. Rather than creating a visual automation that has when they opt into this form, they get sent this welcome sequence because I have several opt-in forms. I am each one of these visual automations can have a maximum of five um, entry points, so triggers in there, but I've got more than five. So what I've done in my rules is that I've set up 
a rule that anyone who subscribes to any of my forms, they get added a tag, new subscriber. So in my automations, so this is my new welcome sequence. Um, I've created the foundation for it, for the visual automation that happens. So when we go into this, you'll see that the trigger is when someone has that new subscriber tag added to them, and then they go through a filtering process, which um, with my opt-in forms through ConvertKit, if they're in the EU, they get um, the checkboxes come up to make sure that they're G it's GDPR compliant. If you want to know more about GDPR, I've got some blogs on my website that um, go through that for you. So I'll link them down below. Uh, so when people say yes, they want to receive emails from me, they will be filtered through this properly. So they get the email sequence. If they don't check that box and they just want the download, that's all they'll get. They won't get anything else. So I'll just go through that filtering process with you with this one. This is um, asking the question, are they within the EU? And if they are yes, they have they had the GDPR email consent tag added to them. So if they when they um, get that checkbox come up and they say yes, they want to receive emails, they get that tag added. And so if they have that, they go yes, they go into this the uh, um, welcome sequence that you've just seen me set up. Um, if they haven't had that tag, um, they that's the no and they get added a tag GDPR no consent delete so that I can go in and delete them at a later point because there's no point in having people on my email list if they don't want to hear from me I don't want to be paying for subscribers who don't want to hear from me okay um, and then obviously if they aren't in the EU they won't have had that checkbox come up so it will already um, uh, it recognizes people by their, their IP address, whether they're in the European U Union or not. So if they have, they're have, they not in the European Union, they will go through and get added the um, to the welcome sequence there. And then obviously the next step after they've gone through the welcome sequence, I want that new subscriber tag taken off. Uh, and then it's the end of the automation. So they'll go through that and then they have the tag taken off. Um, ConvertKit has a very clever... Um, system in place that people can't go through the same email sequence twice, which I believe is a good thing. So if they opt in for several things and they've already had the welcome sequence, they won't get it again. So that's really good. I mean, it's um, a little bit complex um, for beginners to think about that. But if you want to set that up yourself, that's exactly how you do it. Do they uh, Are they in the EU? Have they been tagged? If they haven't, with the email consent tag if they haven't they go there and they don't get the email sequence and every other option or filtering piece um they get the email sequence that we just set up okay and that's how you create um a new sequence and this works for any sequence that you're going to set up in convert kit you just need to set the sequence up here and make sure all your all your emails are active and you've saved it and then you need to make sure you've created a trigger for them to receive this welcome sequence or whatever email sequence um, that you're sending them. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, do email me. I love to get emails from um, my subscribers and people who read my blog. I love to answer the questions because it gives more content to, to put out on my, my blog post because I love helping people make the most of their emails basically so yes if you have any questions hello at sarahhenson.co.uk and i'll get to it and if you want to keep updated with all the tips tricks and hacks that i share on my blog and on my channel then please hit subscribe below and the notification bell to make sure you get notified of new videos and i'll see you in my next video thanks bye